So at the request of one of you viewers, you wrote in and said, hey, Darren, you ought to check out Meguiar's non-acid wheel cleaner. It works pretty good. Therein lies the problem. Pretty good. What does pretty good mean? And by no means am I trying to disparage the viewer that wrote in and suggested that because that is where I have found lots of cool products is from you guys. There again is the win-win. I also learn from you guys. Like many areas of life, we tend to oversimplify things. When it comes to car care, perfect example. Everything can be oversimplified. And I don't mean in a good way, but often in a uh, dysfunctional way for a better word. And what I mean by this is I have tested the non acid Meguiar's. I just got some a couple days ago and I've been testing it out in the field on my own cars, on other cars. So let me break it down for you. When something is brand new or when you keep up on something from day one, guess what? You don't have to overthink it. It can be oversimplified or just simplified. Meaning if it's not dirty or you never allow it to really get dirty, virtually anything will work as in a proper cleaner for that task that you're trying to do. In this case, a wheel cleaner. But this is suddenly where it becomes more complex because for example, wheels are going to be coated and get dirty with what's called brake dust. Brake dust does not clean away easily with just traditional cleaners. Can it be done? Absolutely. So if you were to keep up on your wheels every week, it's a non-issue. You could, you could pick virtually any wheel cleaner and use a scrub brush like the one that I use. And it's, an, it's a non-issue. It's a no-brainer because you're not allowing the brake dust to accumulate. There's not excessive levels of brake dust. So it just becomes a non-issue. But that's only one variable of a more complex uh, subject. Often on wheels you will get water spots. It could be water spots from driving through uh, gutters that have water in them. It could be from sprinklers and that's another area that gets oversimplified to a fault and that's water spots. They are not all created equal. Why is that? Because not all water is created equal. How they dry is not all created equal and the surface in which they dry on is not all created equal. So there's many variables to take into consideration. The simple answer between the two, I have my wheel brightener here, which is considered an acid-based wheel cleaner, and I have my non-acid Meguiar's wheel cleaner, and it's actually labeled to be a wheel and tire cleaner. I have it here. So the simple answer is, which does Darren prefer? Well, for me, it, I'm going to stick with the acid base. Once again, why? Because it chemically reacts to the brake dust. It will break it down quicker and more easily. Also, water spots. That is a big issue on cars. And I don't care if, it, if the car is kept in a garage or not. You can get water spots anywhere. I have pulled up to restaurants and stupid me i forget never park next to a planter never park under a tree i try to park as far away as possible so knucklehead inconsiderate car owner that drives next to me and park doesn't swing his door open and dings my car so there's all these moments you have to take into consideration so next to a planter guess what happens sometimes is the sprinklers will go off while you're in eating dinner or lunch or breakfast or whatever and you come out and voila you have water spots all over the bottom half of your car including your wheels so this non-acid will not break down those water spots if the water spots were created in such a way that they really are what you might call aggressive water spots it does absolutely nothing to deal with the situation it will remove the brake dust and clean the wheel, but it will not break down those water spots. So now you have a clean wheel when you're done, but guess what? Now you still have, you still have water spots. So in my world of efficiency equals profitability, it becomes a no-brainer. I'm going to go with the acid-based wheel cleaner because it's going to address the brake dust itself and water spots, and it's 
still, once again, if you use it according to the manufacturer's directions, it is completely safe. I have so many videos addressing it. Go to my webpage. There's endless pictures of different types of wheels, like this one that is both painted silver with a polished area, but it's clear coated. It's a factory OE, which stands for original equipment. It's a clear coated wheel. I show myself using it on matte finish wheels, on chrome wheels. What's also interesting about the non-acid wheel cleaner is that it also has a warning on it, just like the acid-based wheel cleaner, that says it's not to be used for uncoated bare aluminum wheels. So that tells me that there's some kind of chemical in the non-acid that's still going to chemically react to the bare metal. So you do not use it on bare aluminum unless you know you're going to polish afterwards. So right there is, I mean, that's one of the big uh, drawbacks to the acid-based cleaner in many guys' worlds. But honestly, I have come across a bare coated cast aluminum or billet aluminum wheel, probably two of them in the past five years with cars today it really is a non-issue whether it's aftermarket wheels original equipment wheels it's just such a non-issue so i'm going to clean this wheel and i'm going to show you i've got my non-acid base i spray it just like i would normally and as a rule you don't want the product to dry on the wheel you don't want the wheel to be excessively hot now it says to use on cool wheels and that's just a general statement. Now, whether that's for safety reasons, as in somehow there might cause a chemical reaction if you used it on a hot wheel, or the fact is that if the wheel's hot, it's going to allow the chemical or product to dry. And once it dries, you have to reactivate it by shooting more chemical or product back on it. The same rules apply for the non-acid as the acid-based wheel cleaner. This is my own customized tool that I have configured for tighter wheel areas. Yes, my Speedmaster wheel brush would fit in here and do a fine job, but I also know because these spokes are closer together, I'm gonna get, as I pull this out, I'm gonna get a lot more sling back onto me. I don't want that. I like to stay clean or I could wear a cover up, but it's kind of hot today. It's very humid. You guys back on the East Coast, I swear I do not know how you do it. I empathize with you because this morning, um, in fact, this whole month, we've been going through a kind of an uncommon spell of overcast skies, high humidity, but it warms up really hot during the day. Like yesterday was 95 degrees and the humidity was probably 47%. Now I know on the East Coast you say, well, that's a cakewalk. You should see my world where it's like 90% humidity. Now I just reach behind each spoke with my fingers very quickly because brake dust will get behind there and I want these wheels truly clean and detailed. And just so you know, if you get on a customer's driveway, if you get some sling of the brake black messy mess, it comes off really easily. You can use the Meguiar Super Greaser, shoot it, uh, the wheel acid, whatever you want. It actually cleans up very easily. What I do as a rule though, is I get the driveway wet first. It reduces the ability of that slop to stick to the cement. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning this wheel. I've got my Meguiar Super Degreaser, which I have now recently just per started purchasing in a five gallon drum because I go through so much of it. For most of you guys, you probably will not be going through that much. But I find endless uses for it and I go through so much of it it made sense in my world. Now I'm gonna blow this off with the leaf blower and I'll be good to go. But because it had water spots on it, I know that when I dry it,
those water spots are still going to be there because I did not use the acid base wheel cleaner. And I'll, let me show you that. Here we have the back wheel of this Maserati, which I'm working on. Now, this is going to seem trivial to most of you, but right here, there's some water spots. You will see some additional water spots. Now, if you have a single water spot, it's like, woo, Darren, big deal, you know? But why do I have to go back over it and get it to rub off when I can use the acid-based wheel cleaner and it will correct all those problems for me? So that's just Darren's professional opinion because when you're operating a business, it really is all about efficiency because that will equal profitability. And yes, that is why you're in business. Yes, it's nice to do something that you enjoy doing, but we all want to remain profitable, don't we? There's my two and a half cents on the difference between the, between the wheel brightener, acid-based wheel cleaner, and the non-acid, which I've lab self-labeled myself just because I had a feeling that I was not going to embrace it. But once again, like so many areas of the car, you don't have to overthink it. If A, it's brand new, you keep it clean, whether it's upholstery cleaning, leather cleaning, carpeting. If you never let it get dirty and out of hand, it's so simple. And that's the good news is that there's so many quality products out there and because you're not dealing with heavy layers of dirt, you don't have to overthink it. It really can be one of those moments that you can keep it simple. I've now blown this wheel off. It is completely done. I will have to just verify and double check it before I turn it into my customer. But to recap, there's a couple points I want to mention. One of which I've already addressed at a level. And that is that not all water spots are created equal. So if you decide that you just can't get past the thought of having acid in your wheel cleaner, which is then going to be shot onto your wheel, if, you, if that just makes your butt pucker that much, then go with the non-acid wheel cleaner. Still will work. You may have some water spots left over, but just because you have water spots to begin with does not mean it's not going to clean them but it means that it's gonna be a case by case because I said at the beginning, not all water's created equal, thus not all water spots are created equal. So it will take care of some water spotting, just not all of them. The wheel brightener, the acid-based the acid -based wheel brightener by Meguiar's is more economical because I can buy a gallon of this and I can buy a gallon of this. Essentially they cost within a dollar of each other the same. I think I pay about $22 to $24 a gallon. This can be diluted down four parts to one, which means if I have a gallon of concentrate, that will equal five total gallons of my chemical. This says it can be diluted down two to one, which means I'm going to get two gallons out of the one gallon. So this is far more economical. So there's another winning factor, which is why Darren, as a professional, also chooses the acid base wheel cleaner. That's my little additional added notes that you need to be aware of. So with that said is if you like the videos, give it a thumbs up, make a comment. I wish I had more time to uh, correspond and address and reply to every comment, but I literally do this as a living. Plus, I got to maintain my websites, do the YouTube channel, edit the videos, shoot the videos. It takes a huge amount of time. So I just wish, just so you know, I wish I had more time to respond to every comment, whether it's good or bad, indifferent. I don't really care. I would like to respond to all of them. But make a comment. Ask me a question. This is where I get my ideas for to shoot videos. Of course, I can't make them all quick enough and fast enough. But this is where I get ideas, and that's you kind of helping me out. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Make a comment. Like I said, good, bad, and different. I don't care. I've got nothing to hide. I don't mind uh, being challenged, whatever. But keep it real. Uh, and I live the real world of detailing, not the make-believe world of the detailing forum. So just know there's a huge difference. 
and I speak from experience of the real world, not the fantasy world of the detailing forums. So yes, I'm making a gross generalization. The forums aren't all bad. It's just they are an animal or a beast that most beginners do not understand.